deserted motion picture studio, a shot and a corpse, the year 1929. Little did I realize 21 years later, this unsolved murder would become part of my life. Oh, oh before I forget, that's me, Mitch Davis. I'm an agent and that's my son. Everything was progressing normally that morning and I was happy as a lark as I drove to the airport to pick up Larry O'Brien. This was his first trip to California after a very successful picture-making career in New York. Larry and I went to school together and after graduation we went our separate ways. But eventually we both wound up in the picture business. Larry as a producer and me an agent for movie talent. As I waited for Larry, I couldn't help but think how successful a producer he had become. But that was no surprise to me. Lawrence O'Brien was already a success at the age of 17 when we did Romeo and Juliet together as a Civil War play in high school. He played Romeo and I married Juliet. Larry, my boy, nice to see you. How are you? Fine, Mitch. How are you? Look at that tan. How do you do it? Sun lamp. How's my Juliet and your children? Oh, great, great, Larry. California's a great place for kids. What made you decide to finally come? Sam Collier wants me to make a picture out here. Yeah, well, I kind of thought so. Sam finances your pictures. Sam likes it out here in California. You make pictures in California. Everybody's happy, including me. I'm glad we're together, Mitch. It's like old times. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure. I got everything all set up. I got your house. I got your small motion picture studio. Now, what do you want to see first? First, where I work. Then, where I live. Let's see the studio. The place I had in mind for Larry was an old motion picture studio over on La Brea, which had been closed for years. In the old days, they had made some of the real big pictures there. They only made silent pictures here. The first ones and the best ones. Ever since 1915, Mr. O'Brien, why, this street has been everything from Klondike Gulch to a canal in Venice. It's been Chinatown, Park Avenue, and the Barbary Coast. Do you see that corner there? Well, that's where Lee surrendered to Grant. Custer made his last stand right in the middle of that square. Now, if you follow me right through here. What's this, Mr. Miller? Oh, that was the great silent picture director, Franklin Ferrara. You remember, he was murdered. I think I do. He was killed right on this lot, down there in that bungalow. Would you like to see it? Uh, some other time. Oh, why no, not? We, you know, let's take a look at it. 